Hey, dog, your breath stank. Hello? Barbara. Uh-huh. Good morning. Good morning. This is Dr. Sidman Azibo. I call you on the behalf of the Federal Social Security Administration Division. I call you about your Social Security check. I call to let you know that we're going to be reducing your check because the government is having cutbacks right now in the midst of everything that go on with the, the hurricane and the gas price. And we try to help the gas and the surplus of the nation. So we will cut your check back down to $250 for the next 12 months. And oh, then, no, y'all won't? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. No, ma no, sir. Ma'am, do not. You better, you better tell them folks or have them hurricane folks. They better get them a job. Like I work for mine. They better get up and work for them. No, yes, ma'am. How could you say something so insensitive that is not nice to say about the hurricane people because they are trying to get back on their feet. This is not just about hurricane, about hurricane rebuild. This is about the gas price and help the gas oh, price. That, nobody has to have a car. Let them walk like I do. Shut up and be a good American, please. And Man, I'm not studying about being no good American, no bad American, because I'm not even an American. I'm just a person living in America. There's no such thing as a good or a bad American. It, I bet I'd be a bad American if I come and slap you for hollering at me like that. No, if you come and slap me, you'll be a dead American because I'm going to fuck you up. No, ma'am, you will not touch me because I'm a trained... Oh, yeah, if you touch me... I'm a trained Mabuti warrior from the Booyah tribe. I don't give a damn what tribe from you from. I'm from the kick-ass tribe. Put your paws on me, I'm going to try my best. The fuck you I'm trained in shield and I'm trained in spear. I don't Come give on. a damn about no spear. But I'll whoop your ass on GP. No. You waste your time. Don't waste my damn time talking about my check. We will, my, it is going down to $250. and then we will If come. it does, I'm going to find your ass and whoop it to it and go back up. Barbara, what you do not understand is that the federal guidelines in regards to the Social Security state that the government in time of financial economic crisis and big deficit, we can judge You get through to doing all that talking, the government, the Bush had to come here and knock on the door and tell me some shit like that because what you saying ain't meaning shit. Ma'am, you're not getting your check, motherfucker. You're not I ain't money. worried about that. You don't let it come. I'll whoop your ass to a rope like okra. Please. Come around here and I'll skin your ass like I skinned that catfish last night. I'm from G-Unit. I'm in the G-Unit. I wouldn't give a damn if you was from the Hoochie Coochie tribe from Mississippi. I don't give a damn about nobody, too. This is Dr. Sidiman Azibo, ma'am. You I will respect me. I don't give a damn about you saying you doctor. I'm from the Nigeria, the American black. I don't you care where you're me. from. You respect me. I will come to the Alabama. I will slap you, baby. Scab yeah, but I, I slap your ass to sleep, too. You hobo your way up here in Alabama fucking with me. I pay it back. You just hobo your way up here. I pay it I back. I because of the gas price assistant. I can't. Fuck the gas. You from a tribe, bitch. Run. You shouldn't want no gas. What you need gas from? You from a tribe. Put them big 15 feet on the cement and get to running. Why don't you meet me downtown at the radio station? What radio station? It's a prank phone call. It's comedian Roy Wood Jr., Barbara. How you doing? <laughs> It's 95.7 Jams. It's the Book Live Morning Show. Oh, no, you show. did. Oh, no, no, y'all didn't. I was in there making some blueberry pancakes. Sakina put us up to prank calling you, baby. That's my niece. I'm going to slap her to sleep. Thank you a lot for playing along, Barbara. Calm okay, down, baby. Thank you. Go on okay. in. Hey, save me some pancakes. Okay. <laughs> Have a good one.